Namaste guys, this is CAD Knowledge and in this video you will learn how to do a thermal simulation in SOLIDWORKS for beginners. So to do a thermal simulation we first need a geometry. So select a plane in which I am going to first draw a sketch and my geometry. 200 by 100 this is the dimensions of our plate on which a I am gonna place my heat now you can reduce the thickness to 5 mm after that what I am going to do is I am going to draw fins in which my heat is gonna transfer say 20 mm and 20 mm and the diameter is 10 mm now go to linear sketch select linear sketch pattern after that go downwards select entities to pattern select this sketch make sure the distance is 20 mm and increase the number of the pattern now select the y axis and just increase the pattern as you can see they are coinciding so make sure you are doing uh, that you increase the distance center distance between them so increase it and click on this reverse direction after that increase the number as per your requirement here i draw the shape of my fins basically i am using circular fins next to up to the length of 70 mm click ok now go to solidworks add in click on solidworks simulation after that go to simulation now click on study advisory and make sure you click on this arrow and click on new study now select thermal because I am going to do a thermal simulation in solidworks click ok after that first thing we need to do is apply material so right click on part 4 click on apply favorite material select plain carbon steel so this material is now plain carbon steel now first thing I am going to do is apply a load click on thermal loads click on heat power so and select this face make sure that the arrow direction is upward as you can see these are small tiny arrows and direction is upward now apply a load of 5000 uh, 2000 watt i hope you all know about thermal uh, heat transfer so basically what i am doing here that i am applying a 2000 load uh, 2000 watt heat here click ok and click on convection and I'm going to trying to cool this plate uh, by air click on select all exposed faces and make sure you uncheck the bottom face after that go to convection coefficient enter the value of 20 mm 20 watt per meter square Kelvin you can change the dimension as per your uh, requirement here it's asking for the bulk ambient temperature so bulk ambient ambient temperature is the temperature of the surrounding for example uh, you you are boiling a water so the temperature of the boiling water is 100 degrees celsius but what is the temperature of your surrounding for example it is 25 degrees celsius so you will enter the value of 25 degrees celsius here that is the bulk ambient temperature so in so here 273.15 plus 25 remember here the units are in Kelvin so the exact value is 298.15 Kelvin now click OK our simul our setup is ready and what you can do is right click on mesh and create mesh you can increase or decrease the quality of mesh as per your requirement or you can set parameters as per your requirement but here I don't need it because my main aim is just to show how to do meshing so after clicking ok here you see the mesh remember higher the quality of mesh higher will you get uh, 
the quality in simulation result. After that, click on run this study. When you click on run this study, now simulation is going to happen and you will see how does the heat distribution goes on. Now, click on control plus 8. I'm, what I press is control plus 8. Now a question in arise your mind, how can I see uh, the temperature curve? So there are two ways. The first way is go to Pro Tools, click on Pro. After that, make sure you select Add Location. Now select the bottom. After that, select the Stop Plate. Now in in the similar way, just select the point. at the top so that you will get a graph now move downward click on plot here you can see the plot graph with respect to distance and at the top is we got a temperature near about 112.17 kelvin here you can read the temperature here you see 1121 uh, in Kelvin remember the temperature units are in Kelvin you can also save the data just by clicking save when you click on save you your data will get in a excel file with the extension of CSV you can change the name as per your requirement now click on cancel now another method is go to Pro Tools click on ISO clipping now somebody say hey I want to only see the temperature that is above 1341 so what they can do is just select the values as per your requirement and it will show the value above the value that you have selected as you can see here the all the temperatures shown here is are above this temperature click on ISO 2 now what you will see e is that temperature in between the range of these here 1213 it, it will show the value above the values and 1317 you will get the values above it okay you can also add or animate it sorry you will not get the animation of this uh, animation is not available for this type of plot so you will not get the animation and you can click on report so that you can make your own reports if anyone don't know how to make report and want more details you can just click on the no linear description uh, no linear video description now come to the main point how can we select uh, how to select a particular dia and height so that we get minimum temperature at the top and bed and the best heat transfer now this is a question of about design study so I will talk about design study in the next video or the upcoming videos till then I hope you enjoy your days and enjoy court time due to coronavirus make sure you learn every day thanks for watching and have a great day check out the link in the description for more education contents and video links thanks for watching and have a great day namaste